Hello and welcome back to my channel, Security in Mind. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic, how to hack WordPress websites. In order to show that, I decided to use TryHackMe's virtual setup. So I'm going to try and hack a WordPress machine on TryHackMe. This is a medium room and it's called Block. Today we're going to hack WordPress and I have machine open here. It's called Block. Again, it's from Try Hack Me. I haven't done this one before. It's a medium room, so basically just gonna take the IP address. And let's do this the correct way when you're conducting a penetration test on a server. So let's go ahead and just take the IP and start ourselves a just a casual in map scan 1010 10 to 50. 27 and that's going to enable us to see and get a quite big easy overview of what's going on also run a full port scan now that you have the ports while that is running you know you can go ahead and take the ip just one more time just the whole of it and open that into the browser and if the machine is loaded and done you should get a hit of some sort it does say Bill, billy's joel's it blog so potentially you've got some usernames right there. Well, for now, I'm gonna keep it to what we can find using tools, but in the real scenario, you would go ahead and lock those as potential username, Billy and Joel. Now it's a bit slow, I'll try a reload of it to see whether we got stuck in the Apache server. So we got to hit back again for the full port scan. And I would probably say because this is a medium machine, we shouldn't really be running, you know, service enumeration, but we can do that. Just say, I want to know the service. I want default scripts. Now, usually running default script doesn't really do much when we have the typical HTTP and SSH. We do have something on here. It looks like some Samba client. Um, what I expect from this server is actually, well, a WordPress. <laughs> so let's go ahead and wget, sorry, let's go curl 10. And this is just one way of trying whether the server is down or up. Curling the front page basically tell us that this is a WordPress site, as you can see right there, WP includes. So just curling the front page, getting all the HTML will get us this. So what we could do really just a career scheme and run a VP scan. And I see what we really have some stuff here going on. So what I could do is basically say 1010 10, 250 27. And no reason to do that. Enumerate users because what I really want to do is to find out whether there's any users. Update now. No. Just run the script. I said no. There you go. Um, what? Well, I have to type no. It's gonna bother the URL supplied. It's an HTTPS address. That's my bad. Remember these kind of things because on Try Hack Me we have no such thing as HTTPS on most machines. So we're running a WordPress scan and basically trying to get ourselves a username so we can enumerate even further. I don't know why this is so freaking slow. Um, we do get a hit from curl. So whenever this is happening, do a curl on the website, you know, to get the initial results and then you, we can sit here and wait all day long. Let's go and just check the VPN. It looks fine. Initialization six complete. I wouldn't be able to do the things on the other tabs if it was not up. I can see I need to close some of the other tabs from another scan. So we got ping back. We found some interesting headers, a robot.txt containing the normal admin panel login. Not interesting, we know that. We also see some other stuff here, not interesting. Um, we found some upload content, content and cron stuff and 
enumerating uses, we're getting to the passive aggressive method and we're basically waiting for the uses to be enumerated. Now, why this is so slow, I really do not know. We could try just in the browser, you know, if that is the case here and it doesn't really resolve. Now, in this particular case, I would probably feel forced to reboot the server because I cannot get a hit. So, but I'm gonna leave this running just for a bit and get the users that we do want to find and see if we can get that before restarting the server. So we decided to restart the server and I briefly just read in order to get the block working, I need to add the IP address to the host file. So that is also a thing we need to do. So I kind of missed that. So go and say sudo nano etc hosts and just go into that file and just put in the IP address and do block try hack me. There you go, and then you can go ahead and use the normal, you know, block dot try hack me, just like that, and that should actually enable us to visit the block. Even though that was a bit slow, you know, we got a hit back, and this is the block. This is the WordPress website. Also, let's go ahead and start the VP scan now. So VP scan, and then. Da -da 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 Go ahead and just write here, block, try hack me, and then enumerate the users. Usually the, <clears throat> the BP scan will not give you any interesting information. The more interesting part is getting the users and try and brute force the password. I don't wanna update right now. <clears throat> so we're gonna try and get the usernames right now from the actual block. We're enumerating some users and it was a bit faster we got this Kiel and Burel, and the other ones are not real users because you see the, f the full names. So I'm gonna hit take Kiel here, and just post the name in, and Burel something like that. What you're gonna do is copy paste that, go back, and in this folder called block, touch a file and call it users, nano into users, paste them in, save it. And now we're going to clear the screen, run VP scan one more time. And this particular time, we're going to go ahead and try and brute force our way in. So don't re write VP scan just like that. And type e e U for uh, users, capitalized because we are directing it to a file. And then P because using user, share, word list, word list, rock you, that is the one. And the URL is still HTTP, tag, tag block try hack me and that is going to be the one so <clears throat> no no one update so we're going to one more time just it, 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 it will still try and do normal scan stuff even though that we we set it to do some brute forcing which is kind of weird i really understood that but anyways <clears throat> it now runs through it all trying to brute force a way through here while that is going on, we could do stuff like robots.txt. Again, it's not really that interesting because what we, what we in essentially would like to have is, is access to the WordPress blog because that's a PHP blog and then we can put in a reverse shell with some PHP script, you know, and make the server connect to us, hence the word reverse, right? So. We are not having any hits yet, but I suspect that at some point we're gonna get a hit. And at some point, we can also check out the version of the WordPress because the version is also something that's gonna, you know, um, give it away a bit. So let's see, uh, we have robots, we have this and that. We have version five, insecure. So what we could do is open a new tab and write search exploit WordPress and five to see whether we get something. Whoa. We got something here called remote code execution. Um, that's pretty bad. I'm not really sure if that is the thing we need. Um, but 
I think, in all honesty, this is probably the one we would like to try. Um, but it does say version 500. Let's try one more time. Let's be 100% sure. So we have a direct hit here on image remote code execution. Something here on the crop crop image shell upload. <clears throat> That's going to be difficult for me to choose now because we have then for Metasploit. Well, maybe we should just go MSF console just to use that for once. Um, Image remote code execution does sound like something with an image. I don't like images, so. Are we having any passwords? No, not yet. So we're just trying more stuff now because what we essentially need is to get a hit back. It did say the version, well, where it was, here it is, it was insecure, um, released back in 18, so it's a very old version of WordPress. And you know, you would be amazed what people have on their, you know, websites that is not updated. So sometimes, you know, it could be that. All right, so let's go ahead and do a search. Uh, search WordPress and then 5000. And we have the expo right there. So use, use zero. In order to use this exploit, we have to write show options, just like that. And you need to put in the, I already put in a few things. I had to pause the video and I forgot to turn it on again. So I have to write in the password and the username and the our host name. And you have to put in your own IP address on your own machine. So that is very important. So do an IP tag A. Copy paste your own IP address. That's it. We're gonna go back, set L host, put it in. There we go. Just run the exploit. It should be pretty fast running the exploit whenever you put in the right thing. Anyway, it's gonna pause the video and get back when the handler is open. All right, so it would seem that we already have a session. And I got one more. Anyways, we ran it and I waited quite a bit. I was like, hmm, is this working at all? And this has failed. I decided to write sessions tag I. And I ran this before at some point. Anyways, we can go ahead and say sessions, session, I think one, interacting with session one. And we have now access to the server. Go ahead and write shell, and we're getting a shell. So ID, we are dot 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 data. We have our initial foothold right now. So what we're gonna do now is to go ahead and check out what we can do in order to get a um, better shell. What we could do is go ahead and run our trusty find command. We just copy paste that from a cheat sheet and run the find command from root. Look for files owned by root, permission of 4000 or S for SUID set, and direct all errors to nothing. Now, <clears throat> this is going to give us a list of stuff we can check out. And what we really can do with that is to go ahead and check out the stuff on GTO pins, if that is very, you know, needed. Taking the first top here, got all the normal stuff I usually see here, trace route. Check out is a thing I haven't seen before. This is usually not something you need to worry about. And just looking at this also looks normal. All this also looks very normal, just from casual output. So check out is something that I haven't seen before. Let's go ahead and copy paste that into the document. Um, let's do a ls tag al checker. And it does look like we have read, uh, we can execute this as root. Not really sure what it is. We can just try. Uh, like this. Not an admin. Okay, so this is a, this is <laughs> some binary file. Someone created and we can just check it out. It is an L file, so it's a binary file. No idea what it is. We can also do strings on it now since we have it and see what we're going to get. 
strings with an S would be easier. And <clears throat> scroll up a bit. Uh, we go. And we can see that it, it does something with, you know, some commands about get environment, put system. It does look at the something with Ben Bash, not an admin. So uh, just from the look of this and from what I know from TryHackMe and whatever change they have, uh, probably a weird file to get root with. It's very unusual stuff. Um, what we could do is to go ahead and run an L trace on it instead. And then do the uh, user, what was it? Bin, s bin, bon, bin, bon, checker. Just like that. And we can see that it does get the environment variable. So we can create an environment variable just by typing it in the, um, in the um, terminal. And it needs to have some sort of value. Um, and well, we could do that. So we can export admin and then set it equal to some value. Now, usually a low number would be the correct one. We can try like zero, for example, and then run the checker one more time. Um, okay, we are root by just creating that. And basically that would, you know, result in us solving the room and giving the answers here on, oh, I did give the answer some block. I see. I thought I hadn't solved this with, must have been a bug of some sort. Anyways, you know, this is how I would conduct a pen test on a WordPress site. I would definitely go ahead and check out, you know, can we get any uses from the WordPress site? Can we do some sort of enumeration on it? Because what we need is essentially just a shell. Now we were lucky it was a very bad version of WordPress. Now usually we get different kind of versions of WordPress, which is more secure. And then we could not have used this exploit. So we were lucky it was a on uh, sorry an outdated version of WordPress and then we can run this kind of exploit. So that's it for me for now. If any questions leave a comment below. I'm gonna get back to you as fast as I can. If you like the video and you like the way the walkthroughs are conducted, please also think about subscribing to my channel. It will help me out a lot to grow and create content. If you want to donate or anything like that, you know, go ahead and check out the link below. Um, I'm here always creating videos at the moment. I'm doing some tri stuff. So until next time, see you again. Have a nice day.